Hey guys, what is up? Dave here coming back to you with a brand new video on the channel and today is how to flash one of my favorite ROMs to specifically the Google Pixel 6a. There are There is some weirdness to flashing this ROM uh, thanks to the instructions given by the developer being pretty poor. Um, flash adb sideload rom.zip using recovery. The recovery is not separate from the ROM. And if you download the most recent versions, these two that are 2.1 gigs, the ROM straight up doesn't work. So I don't know why they put these out. Uh, it just doesn't. I think these are fast boot methods to install them, but it doesn't work. It just boots and loops to fast boot. This version works, the one with the most downloads. I love this ROM. It works once you flash the older version and then just OTA update if you need to, if it tells you to. But I wanted to go over how to actually, uh, you know, completely flash this ROM, root it, and then, you know, go on your merry way. So, first of all, the reason I'm making this video is because people are having issues like this. Because the recovery image is not separate from the APK. Or, uh, <laughs> the ROM, sorry. And Clazy Strida, uh, Strida? puts out you know a nice little short instruction on how to flash it but this no longer works now that there's these two versions but like i said use this one if you're going to use this rom use this one this rom is fantastic it's hands down besides rising os this is the second best rom available but there are some aspects of it that i like a lot more than i uh than rising os so anyway you're gonna need a payload dumper I grabbed the one from the OnePlus 8 Pro section because Payload Dumper Go is easier to use than the whole Python script one, um, which you can get Payload Dumper Go from right here on GitHub. And then you're going to need the platform to tools and your bootloader unlocked on your Pixel 6a. You want to use these ones uh, if you don't already have ADB installed system-wide on your computer. You're going to want to use this version because this version's buggy and they haven't patched it yet, which I find completely stupid. Once you have everything downloaded, this video is kind of assuming you already know how to bootloader unlock and all that. Uh, I use 7-zip for this because it seems to be the easiest way to go about it. So you want to open up the ROM and you want to extract payload.bin out of the ROM because you need boot and vendor boot in order to get to recovery. So this is gonna flash or real quick. <laughs> I wish this was quick. I'll just pause this. Once you have the payload.bin extracted, you want your payload dumper go. Just simply drag this on top of the exe and it'll start extracting. Like I said, you need boot and vendor boot. So wait for those to extract. You'll see it has an extracted folder right here. Just watch the little progress bar. So like we know boot is done right here. I can copy this, move it back out to here just to make my life easy. And then we're waiting for vendor boot, which will be in a moment after another one finishes because it only puts four workers out at a time so it doesn't completely destroy your computer performance. Uh, <laughs> smart idea, honestly. So I'm going to wait for vendor boot to extract itself and I'll be back when that's done. All right, just like that. Vendor boot is out and boot is out. Now, if you want to root your phone as well, you are going to need Magisk. I definitely recommend updating. Um, <laughs> that's a really old Magisk. Uh, I'm going to go get it real quick. All right, I got it. So now what we need to do is flash these two, per, uh, two images because, as you can see, I already tried it with that newer ROM, and it's just the newer version, it's just broken. It doesn't work. So anyway, you want to do fast boot, flash boot. And remember, your bootloader has to be unlocked for this. And then unable to date boot image, use unmerged. Fast boot, flash vendor boot. Okay, and then fast boot, reboot, recovery. Let's see if it works because that's an error I've never seen before. Yeah, it's going to recovery. 
Good. Now you want to ADB sideload the whole ROM. So ADB sideload. Drag and drop this into the CMD window. There are a couple things you should do on device before you ADB sideload. So once recovery comes up, it is touch uh, activated. You want to do a factory reset of your entire device just to be safe. Make sure you back up all your important stuff, obviously, before you factory reset. Um, even if, if you had just unlocked your bootloader anyway, your stuff is gone anyway because it factory resets. So you want to do install update after you factory reset and then just hit. I'm not going to actually do it because I actually already have this phone set up for myself. But you basically just hit enter at this point. And it's not going to work because I don't have ADB sideload enabled on the device because I didn't click install update. But I am going to click install update for ADB sideload. Magisk. I did technically unroot it. So you can change the extension to zip. You can move it over and you can sideload it. Sometimes it'll give you an error. If it gives you an error, then you can't sideload it for some reason. So what you got to do is change it back to APK and you can just reboot to system. If it gives you a warning like, hey, previous flash failed, don't worry about it. It'll still boot as long as the ROM flashed properly. So once the device turns on, ADB install, you want to enable your USB debugging. There we go. And then allow computer to communicate with the device. Install Magis 26.3. And then from there, you need to open up the Magisk app. You want to click install and you're going to do select and patch a file. So what I like to do is just ADB push boot to SD card. And then on device, select and patch, tap it, go to your internal storage, select the boot.img and click let's go. Once that is done, you can do ADB pull, SD card slash download slash magisk patch dash 2630 underscore Now, this end of it is always going to be different for you. Um, and I'll just use this folder. Why did that not work? Why did... I must have... Well, anyway, we can just... Uh, since it's plugged into the computer, switch it to file transfer in Android auto mode. New window. My 6A is not showing up, which means I need device manager. The MTP is not working. Update, browse, let me pick, USB device, close. Downloads. That can be deleted. And we can pull this one out of here because this is the newest. Always want to use your most recent. Now you want to ADB reboot bootloader or fast boot. It takes you to the same place. Fast boot slash boot. And now you're rooted. Congratulations. You won. That simple. If you consider it simple, sorry. But yeah, so I wanted to make the quick instruction video on this. If you guys want a start to finish setting up your computer to flash ROMs, installing ADB, doing the correct version of the platform tools, and then, um, oh, I got a bloody nose. I better finish this quick. And then flashing the ROM and rooting and setting it up, let me know. I can do a full video start to finish and We'll go from there. I'm going to do a Razer Phone 2 video next because the ROM development has really matured. 
So I'm going to talk to you guys later. I'm going to go get my nose figured out. And <laughs> um, peace out.